let's talk about the four challenges that I have uh, told you about. So one of them is sourcing. As you can imagine, the food supply chains are very much complex. And uh, sometimes I would even prefer personally to call them a net than a change. And the fact is, with all the struggles that happen on the, the supply chain, some of the companies have to quickly implement it and test it adoptions such as new suppliers so that they continue to produce. Then the another one is personnel. So uh, the food sector, like any other sector, had uh, staff shortages due to illnesses, uh, due to the fact that people could not move. And uh, there was a need to recruit additional staff. And this in the food sector is not so much easy as uh, all the people working need to be trained as food handlers, which is a legal requirement. And this has to be done in a very short period. We need to bear in mind that uh, people that never understood about working in the food environment, they have to understand the processes and the procedures of hygiene, what needs to be controlled and so on. So to avoid that another risk was posed in terms of food safety. Then another aspect was concerned outsourcing processes. So some food businesses rely to some extent on external services, normally related with pest management, uh, maintenance, or sometimes even cleaning. And due to the fact that there were internal or governmental policies that required to minimize the number of external people on site, food businesses had this extra challenge to make these services performed on site. And this, for sure, was a, a challenge and they had to manage uh, all the risk associated with it. And then the fourth one is concerning processes changes. And I will give you an example. If we talk about the hospitality sector, many of the restaurants have changed their business model and they have made a shift and they started to provide their meals as a takeaway or on-demand delivery services. And restaurant operators, they realized that uh, this shift was just much more than just putting the meal inside the box. There was need to reinforce temperature controls and in lace uh, hygiene practice, as well as the staff uh, wellness checks. All these to ensure that the food was safe. 